At the Dongchi High School, Monday afternoon's Chinese literature lesson is still on the blackboard. Here, two umbrellas are left on the rack. But the school itself has gone. Four floors of classrooms collapsed in the earthquake. Hundreds of children who'd just begun their afternoon studies are now trapped in this rubble. As soon as I found out what happened, I rushed here, says this mother. She's looking for her 17-year-old son, Nong Fei. I've been here for four days, she says. But it's hard to be hopeful. Here, rescuers bring out a child's body. Parents have to identify their children. This girl died while she was holding her pen. She didn't even have time to react. This father has just found out that his son, his only child, has died. He can barely stand. <laughs> Parents are asking why this building didn't survive the quake. My child is wonderful, says this mother. I would like to kill those responsible, the man next to her says. If they'd started the rescue much sooner, they could have saved many more children, this man says. What have they been doing? The woman beside him shouts. The last time rescuers found anyone alive here under the wreckage of the school was this morning. But they still believe that there are children somehow surviving underneath this rubble. And that's why the relief effort is going to continue until every parent finds out what's happened to his or her child. Here outside the school, rescuers bring out a survivor from another building. Almost everywhere you turn in Hanwang, buildings look like they've been blown away. This clock has stopped at just before half past two, the moment the earthquake happened. Those who've lost their homes now have to live by the side of the road. And parents keep their vigil at the Dongchi school. Like many Chinese, most here have only one child. Everything they have to live for is now buried in the rubble. This town feels like it's lost its future. James Reynolds, BBC News, Hanwang.